Welcome to Chalk Paint 101, episode 14. If you're new to my channel, my name's Christina, and in today's episode, I really wanted to break down the fundamentals of glaze. What is it for? Why do I want it? Is it good for me to use? So I really wanted to break down a lot of really amazing questions I get on my channel regarding glaze, which can pertain to decor projects, furniture projects, and everything in between. So let's get started. Number one. Clear glaze versus color glaze. What is glaze? The best way I can describe glaze is Think of it, and this is just a laymanized way of explaining it, is it's a medium, it's a working medium you apply with paint, but think of glaze as this is paint, but with no pigment. It's, to me, it's almost like a lubricant in the sense that it allows me to play with the different levels of transparency. So when I'm creating certain types of finishes or looking for certain types of finishes, I have a lot of freedom and I have a lot of control on what I want to create and it really brings the imagination alive. So I love working with glaze and you can get that even with color glazes as well. That's not a problem. And as I say, color glazes come in all different. So general finishes, you could hop on their website. You can see all the colors, especially if you're just going to do a couple of projects. You don't want to make a large investment in glaze, but you'd like to try it. I highly recommend that. But you can also get clear glaze. General Finishes also carries it. All the links in which I use for glaze will be in the description box below. A clear glaze allows me to make any color glaze I want. So especially because I like to play around with different tones on, on my projects, it allows my blending, it allows any finishes that I want. It's just fantastic stuff to work with. The ideal ratio for making your own paint and glaze mix. Four parts clear glaze, one part paint. Number two. Glaze versus wax. I get tons of questions in regards to, well, why would I use a glaze for the type of finish or decorative outcome that I want? Why wouldn't I just use wax? Now, the thing is, is this, this particular, number two is going to pertain to a lot of people like uh, depth and dimension. They want darker colors. They want to get into the recessed areas of their furniture or even decor projects, things that have you know, a lot of curves and outlines and they want to kind of make things have more of a three dimension. So they like to use the really dark browns. They like to use black, really dark gray. So whether it's a wax or a glaze, that's the ultimate outcome of what they're trying to achieve. But understanding the differences between the two, the best way I can describe it to you is for instance, a lot of people like to put a little bit of an antique look to their kitchen cabinets or say they've got a bathroom vanity and they want to, you know, put a really fun color on it and then they want to put a really kind of smoked out kind of hue to it. You can use wax to do that. That's not a problem. You can even shade with wax. The problem is, is wax and water don't mix. I wouldn't want to use wax on my cabinet in a bathroom or in a kitchen because water and wax don't mix well. So I can get the same effect with the glaze that I can with the wax. Number three. Sealing your projects. Some glazes out there, and this is where I get tons of questions because there are products out there that, um, well, I shouldn't say tons, but there are products because I don't know all the products that are available out there. I just, I know the products that I use. So I kind of always want to tune back into that because that I can give you the best advice. But I do know that there are glazes out there that seal pr pr uh, your projects. So if you've created something and now you're gonna be adding a glaze, there are ones out there that seal. The ones that I use do not seal your projects. 
So I'm going to say, safely say, that 90% of the glazes available to you will not seal your project. So the best way, anywhere you go, you decide you want to use glaze, you're going to be trying a different product, make sure you just read the manufacturer uh, description on the sides or ask um, personnel or people that work at the place you've bought it to help understand whether or not that glaze will seal or not to seal. As far as I know, most glazes do not seal. Now here's one, and don't want to confuse you. Any Salon recently came out with a pearl essence glaze. This is an example of a glaze it's a beautiful finish, especially if you like that pearly effect. Um, I'll show you a quick a couple of examples of what I did. The pearlescent glaze is the example of what I'm talking about of a glaze that will seal your chalk paint. So when you apply this on top of your decor projects, you don't have to wax after the seals. Whereas where I'm going with all of this is I'm using a glaze that does not seal. So just to keep it short, sweet, and to the point, whatever product you decide you're going to purchase or use, depending no matter where you are in the world when it comes to glaze, just make sure you understand whether or not it's a, it has a seal in it or it doesn't seal. Nine times out of ten, it does not seal your chalk paints. Number four. Glazing is not just for a distressed look or an antique finish. There are so many amazing faux finishes that you can create, and this applies again to anything that you would like to repaint from floors, walls, even ceilings, decor projects, and the big one is some furniture projects. You can create some amazing um, faux effects. So again, just wanted to show you some really fun examples of these effects that you can make with glaze. I love using my measure tool. And again, I have um, really good detailed, walks you through how I use the meshing tool as well as glazing. So you are welcome to take a look at that. And I also have a glazing uh, faux finish that I did on a small end table and that too is also in the description box below. So if you just want to take a few moments to kind of get assimilated with what I'm doing with glaze and why and how these faux finishes apply even with furniture, definitely check those videos out. Um, I try to talk through as much detail as possible as I am a beginner at certain things too. So number five. Dealing with any water-based products, and again, that's what I zeroed in on this particular episode was water-based, and again, talking about water-based glaze, will dry a lot faster than oil or latex products. If you add extender, when you add the extender to any glaze, and this is a by trying to do this, it's not glared. When you add extender, and this is by general finishes. This applies to any water-based paints or glazes. That's something else to mention quickly too, even though it's a little off the glaze, but you can apply extender to any water-based paint. So let's say you're, you're blending away and you want time. I know how frustrating it can get because you're doing so much intricate blending and detail. You can apply extender to your paint, not just your glaze. So this is a pretty versatile product, especially when you're going to be doing a few projects on hand. So again, decor, furniture, wall, whatever you're doing and you're working with water-based products, extender is great because you want more playtime. If I add some extender to my paint or my glaze mixes, it's already in there. It allows me the working time. I don't have to worry about the water. So that can really be a big help with blendings and types of finishes that you're doing and you just want more play time. You know what, there's nothing, when you're being creative, there's no time limits. So if you need more time, take more time. So that's, a, and you only need a couple of drops. You don't need very much. So say for half a cup, a cup of 
of paint. Maybe I put in like two, three little drops of this. Number six. To seal or not to seal with glaze. And I kind of already tapped into that a little bit earlier and I was gonna get a bit more specific with that. More than 90% of the time, glaze products, no matter where you are in the world, will not seal your painted projects. If you need something to seal over it because you're working on a tabletop, you're working on cabinet doors, in high moisture areas like kitchens and baths, things like that, you're still gonna need to seal on top. So you can use uh, lacquers that are available out there. That's not a problem. You can use clear wax after you've done a glaze finish. That's not a problem. So if you're just working on home decor, it's a picture frame, it's whatever piece, you can still clear wax to seal. So remember that you would always use glaze before you wax. That's another big question. Can I use glaze after I've waxed? No, you need to use the glaze before you wax. Glaze, then wax. Always remember that, glaze, then wax. It's a big one. Number seven. Do I really need extender because I wanna start a couple of glazing projects? No, you don't. You don't have to have extender. I think because I have all of these different questions coming from different levels, but we're all looking for more tips and information. So not everybody's gonna need an extender just because their working time has improved with practice. But I always tell people, if you're new, extender's really, really helpful because you won't get frustrated because I think a lot of people are starting out with chalk painting and because they're using a water-based product, it dries so quickly when they're trying to play around with their paints, they get a little bit frustrated. Sometimes water can help, but the extender will help you even more. But you do not have to use it. If you feel that you can work in those small sections, you know, you've got a bit of practice under your belt and you're comfortable, you don't have to have the extender. Number eight. And I'm telling you the answer based on my experience, yes. So if you're working away and for whatever reason, you're not gonna use extender, but you just needed a couple more, more seconds, maybe even a couple more minutes, you can spray a little bit of water. It will help you with your working time as well. Not to worry about that. Number nine. Applying glaze. Glaze is just like paint, so you can apply it however you want. You can use rollers. It's one of those sponge rollers that you can create texture with. So you can use the tray. You know, you've got your wall, your furniture, whatever project you're using, and you can roll your glaze mix, and then you can use rollers. You can use any type of brush that you're comfortable to use. Just use your favorites. Glaze, again, glaze is like paint. You can apply it with anything you want, even disposable sponge ones, chippy brushes, your favorite brushes you like to use. And again, because it's water-based, it's so easy to clean. So you're good to go on that. So it's not gonna hurt your brushes by any means. Number 10. Can I do detail painting with glaze? So if you wanted to use detail brushes and you just wanted to go around, maybe you made some really cool flower effects you've painted on or you've put on a decoupage and now you wanna put in just a little bit of more um, depth and dimension by just using some color glazes or you wanted to maybe put a distressed or antique look, you can definitely do in small little blending glaze and glaze colors. Easy, super easy. I can honestly say from my experience so far, I, I would never not use glaze. I absolutely love it. It just makes being creative and doing creative things so much more lucrative and much more relaxed. And I feel I have a lot more control time. So if you haven't tried with glaze, I highly recommend trying. And you can always buy the smaller versions and give it a go. 
and I mean the shelf life on it is it's got a long long shelf life so even if you only use a little bit now and in six months you decide to use a little bit so don't feel like you're wasting your money because glaze can be used for again decor pieces picture frames walls floors you know so it's 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 endless you can use it on canvas boards so you know if you like to paint on canvas you can use glazes as well on canvas so it's it's pretty endless anything you put paint to you can use glaze with so i hope that helps thank you so much for watching today's video and please if you have any questions i love reading your comments so please leave me a comment in the comment box below as well as if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And that's going to tell you exactly when I upload my next video. Really looking forward to seeing you soon. Until then, take care.